Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. In this tutorial, we will talk about uh, extending a surface. I just take this example and uh, using to this sketch for uh, like this one, I will just outline my my mesh here, and I will create my single sketch. With the uh, normal primitives, I will quickly just extract my lines. I will not be uh, so precise because this is not the topic of this tutorial but with the shift key you can quickly just create your lines and arcs. I will connect them holding the control key to close the sketch and here for example I'll just connect the tangent arc. So this is my sketch and I'll press OK and leave it for now. I want to recreate the front surface, I'll put it in front, and I'll use um, 3D sketching and we'll draw a couple of lines. I'll just take my first line, right click to finish, then I take the next one, double click, and probably here we'll take also this line. And I have my uh, guide lines here. I can probably create something in the middle and then I need to be more precise. But let's leave this for now. From the surfacing menu, I will just use the loft command. And I'll take my guide curves. And this will create my surface. You can be much more precise about creating this surface. But the problem now, what I want to do is actually to trim this with my sketch. And here is our new command which is called extend surface. It works on the surfaces created from a loft, sweep or pipe uh, surfaces. The way it works you just click and select your active surface and then you select extend surface. When you start it for the first time it will just show you um, four numbers that will show you the sides of the of the patch and four handles. The way you can extend the surface is just moving your mouse over the handle and you start and drag the, the um, surface. As you can see it updates the offsets in the um, control window. You can do this for every side and you can extend your surface. The whole idea is that you extend to the level so it's out of your necessity, uh, please make sure that if that um, surface is not very well defined you may get uh, some kinks like here, this is actually quite well defined and when you're happy with this you can press OK. Now I can easily just uh, take my sketch and create a extrusion here, I probably drag it to get more and here I will select this one with the control key We'll pick the extruded surface and call the trim command. We'll get rid of what I don't need it and press OK. And this is my trimmed surface, which you actually need to use further in the application. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.